This video is going to be an answer to a request for what I carry in the woods with me when I go camping. Uh, in this case, with the Boy Scouts. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. This video is going to be um, kind of just a, a quick look at what I take with me in my pack in the woods when I go camping with the Boy Scouts. So I've had a lot of requests to show what gear I actually use. And so this is what I just got back from a weekend camp out with the Boy Scouts. Okay, we weren't backpacking. We were camping in a Boy Scout camp at a campsite. So I kind of call it car camping. Um, so one of the things that you won't see in this pack is my food because I took my food in a separate container. I mean, we had coolers and all that good stuff. You know, we, were, we weren't totally roughing it. We weren't in the, in the back country. But we were camping. This is pretty much my standard loadout for when we go camping with the Boy Scouts. And not backpacking, just camping. So um, without further ado, what I'm going to do is flip you down here a little bit to the tabletop. And we'll show you. First, I'm going to show you how much this thing weighs. Show you what I got in here. And then do me a favor. When it's finished in the comments below, please uh, take, take a second, if you don't mind, to point out the glaring obvious deficiencies in my pack because I'm sure there's going to be some. So let me, uh, and by the way, I'm sorry for the, uh, for the, for the voice here and all. I've got a really stopped up head right this second. So anyway, let me um, flip you down here and we'll open this thing up and show you. Okay, first of all, hope you can see this. Say how much this thing weighs. What does that say? Anyway, it's 40 pounds. Okay, if you can't see that, I'm sorry. Cause Maybe I need to get on the Chris Tanner fitness program. Cause Chris is getting buff if you hadn't noticed. Okay, I'm kind of down here. Hopefully you can see me now. Um, first of all, this is, if you notice, is an old Kelty external frame backpack. This is old school, man. I bought this used for my oldest son was in Scouts. I think I paid like 18 bucks for it, and that was at least 15 years ago. So, still going strong. Um, definitely myself and whoever the original purchaser was probably both got money out of this one. I cannot, um, man, I'm telling you, this thing is like bulletproof. I can't tear it up, but I'll load it down and pack it up and beat it around. It just keeps going on, so that's a little plug for Kelsey. But uh, here's what we got. So first of all, I got a couple flip-flops here just for hanging around camp a little bit. They're lightweight and cheap, okay? Open this thing up. Um, in the uh, flat pocket here. Dump it all out. Okay, so in the map pocket, I don't have a map because I didn't really need one where we're going. We've got a uh, more Bushcraft Black. Nice little lightweight, really solid blade. Got a really old Black Diamond, um, gosh, I think it's a Nano. I'm not sure what they call it. Really old Black Diamond headlamp. Really lightweight. Just to back up. Got my uh, survival bracelet. Got a whistle. Got a uh, compass, two boxes of matches, a very small piece of fat wood that I actually found this weekend, a lighter, and a right in the rain notebook. Now that's in the, in the flat pocket. So, set that aside right now because I want to empty this thing out and see how much the pack weighs empty. In the front pocket, pouch pocket, I've got a pair of leather gloves. I got a hank of paracord, probably 50 feet, I don't know for sure. And I've got my black diamond in a Princeton Tech case. I got my black diamond storm headlamp. I uh, did a review of this a long time ago. So, man, it's waterproof is really great. So that's in the front pocket. All right, take that out. Okay, so that's all in the pocket here. Then on the bottom, lashed on with a trucker's hitch here, I've got my. MM, MSS three-piece sleep system. Get you out of the way. Carrying on down, and I've just I just keep this piece of paracord on there where I can lash it in really easily. Carrying on down, I've got the uh, in the bottom sleeping bag compartment. One thing about this pack is sometimes the zipper really messes with you. I've got my Hennessy hammock and my. Uh, camp pillow. That's it. That's it in here. This little pouch here is where I usually keep my toilet paper. Like I said, I just got back. I pretty much used it all up blowing my nose this weekend. Okay, in this side pocket here. It's a smaller side pocket. I have got my uh, 
MSR wind burner cook system and some coffee and my little MSR wind burner suspension system that's in the side pocket there Let's get you out of the way the other side pocket in this particular pack is a full length pocket and in here I got several goodies I have got and this is again just I'm car camping I got a box I call this my fire box I got all kinds of fire starters and matches and it's a waterproof box I just keep that around camp because there's always fires and stoves and stuff that need to be lit got a bigger chunk of fat wood I found this this weekend man it is primo fat wood um, got a uh, Baco folding saw in a hidden woodsman pouch a stainless steel water bottle and never leave home without it my uh, anti trend design tops to home field knife again this is not an ultra light tool but but I take this thing backpacking it's this is my uh, primary wilderness blade um, and it it rocks man so that's all for this this pocket here so all we got left is the big inner pocket and I'm just gonna flip this thing around and show you there okay okay the main compartment of this pack is a drawstring storm loop and uh, dirty underwear sorry you didn't really need to see that did you I just got an empty Walmart bag here again I just got home from a camp out this is just my toiletry kit, a little NRA uh, field pouch that I got and I've had for 25 years or so. It's got um, deodorant and toothpaste and soap and all that stuff in it. Then, you got a uh, poncho, swatted up, $5 poncho. Pretty solid. I did a, it's a red ledge poncho, actually. I did a, a review on that. Dirty clothes. So I put my dirty clothes outside and I actually take my clean clothes and I just put them in this bag. I got this, I don't know, this old bag from something in the past sometime. And uh, I put my clean clothes in here that I'm going to wear when they're dirty. I put them on the outside. That way, kind of keep them separated. And then I've got a pair of, I don't even really know why these are in here right now for this, this season. I just kind of keep them in there. Just a pair of glove mitts or whatever, wool glove mitts. Um, another, this is kind of, I keep this in here from just all the time, just for mercy. It's just a, a thermal turtleneck face layer. And then also I've got my, uh, wool hat you just keep it in there this little was not, was not really that cold this weekend but more dirty socks I just I keep it in here all the time uh, last but not least I've got a windbreaker here just to fold up you know wind wind jacket just in case and it's kind of kind of a rain jacket also sometimes the poncho is not good I have got my straight SCAX 2L uh, lightweight hat just pretty lightweight and last finally this really is the last nope two things I've got pack towel this is just like a shamwow just a cheap pack towel no name brand shamwow and my uh, spin saw that is it and then this thing is empty let's see how much it weighs now without the stuff in it okay so empty this pack is five pounds and ten ounces or 5.5 pounds I'm not sure which way that is but a little over five pounds if you can see that so I got about 35 pounds of stuff in here and that's really does not include food and or a lot of water so several people have asked to see what I carry out in the woods that's it a couple things I noticed as I'm unpacking that it does not include um, there's no way in there well I've got my little firebox I've always got a, uh, <laughs> a lighter in my pocket I've always got a little flashlight in my pocket. I've always got a uh, fixed blade on my belt when I'm in the woods. Even though you saw I had two in there. I've been carrying this uh, Swiss Army knife with me. And generally, um, I've got a ferrule rod or two or three, which there's a couple in that pack. So the um, there's no first aid kit in there either, by the way. I've got that in my, uh, I've got, I just keep that in my truck when I'm camping with the Boy Scouts, to be honest with you, because we were really, you know, our truck's there. Okay, well that's it. Um, that's that's what I carried this last weekend. Uh, just got home today for Boy Scout camp out. Uh, what I would consider car camping, definitely not backpacking, 
uh, that would be a total, not totally different, but be a lot of different loadout for backpacking. Um, so a couple of things that are always pretty much with me though is the Hennessy hammock and, and, and the pillow. I mean, that's just, that's my preferred method of sleeping is a hammock. Um, I know she, there's no first aid kit in there. I keep like a bigger first aid kit in my truck when I'm with the Boy Scouts. And wow, jet plane. And um, there's probably some other stuff missing. Feel free to point it out. Maybe you can help me, um, you know, keep me from forgetting something. But uh, I hope this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing it with your friends, for watching those ads. And thank you so much for shopping on Amazon through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time. Uh, uh. I've got a runny nose, so it's a, um, I mean, look at spider webs in this thing. Uh.